We need to prep each other. We need to do a good job with the scout teams. We need to make sure that we are on point in special teams. All right? This is a big football game for us. All right? It's an opportunity for us to play at home. It's an opportunity for us to win. It's an opportunity for us to repay them for last year's disaster. All right? And we shouldn't forget about it forever. Permanently ingrained on my mind that score, that day, the way that it felt. Every day we've got to remind ourselves out of practice of what that felt like. So when we come out today, let's make sure that we practice like we want to win. It's the Ashley Furniture Home Store Stadium show here from Johnson Haygood Stadium as we work our way towards kickoff just past the top of the hour. Furman in town for the oldest rivalry in the Southern Conference, 98th all-time meeting between these two. And the Bulldogs looking to get back in the win column after their uh, Worst loss against Furman last season since 1989, falling 56 to 20. Coach Thompson calling it his biggest disappointment as the head coach of the Bulldogs at the spot. A kick, and it is good. Jacob Godek, seven for his last seven, and the Bulldogs strike first today. They take a three nothing lead. Six minutes in, Black on play action, drops back to throw. Strikes it up the near sideline where it's caught by Drakeford, who tumbles his way inside the 20. He's going to keep it himself, diving over his center towards the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And the Dogs are on the run as they take a 9 7 lead over Furman. Takes the snap in the shoulders. He hands off to one of his running backs who gets stuffed up the middle. It. And he's short of the first down. Throw on first and ten. Zips it over the middle. Wide open receiver at the 40. Caught by Riley Webb. And he is loose. Takes it all the way to the house. A 91 yard touchdown pass to Riley Webb. And the Bulldogs take the lead back midway through the third. Zone read to the right side. Nowhere to go for Lincoln. He's dropped in the backfield again. It's going to be a play action. And he's drilled in the backfield for a loss back to the 45. Thanks, guy, again. <laughs> a loss of nine on the play. He rolls left on second and 19. He's under pressure. He rolls right. He's sacked again. Back at midfield. He's going to back to throw. He's pressured. He's flushed left. He's wrapped up. And he's sacked back at the 24. Noah Dawkins in on the stop for the Bulldogs, along with Randolph in the backfield. Furman will get out of here with a victory, 28-17 against the Citadel. Second straight win in this rivalry as Furman improves to three and four on the year, including three and two in the conference, staying alive. And the Bulldogs fall to two and five on the year, including two and four in the conference. Coach, what's your message to the guys now at this point of the season after you know so many close losses? I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I'm tired of standing up here and saying, yeah, we're in every single ball game. We're just not winning. I'm tired of losing. That's, that, that's my message today. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of standing here and saying the same old excuses every single day. We need to find a way to win them. And that's my job. 